Good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 14. I'm up early. It's still dark outside, but I woke up, couldn't go back to sleep, so I figured I might as well get up. Uh, I didn't sleep very well last night. I woke up in the middle of the night and couldn't go back to sleep. <laughs> I think uh, just feeling a little bit anxious about all the things that need to get done before Christmas. Uh, in any case, I got up then and I wove on my sister's scarf for about half an hour. So went back to bed feeling that at least I hadn't wasted <laughs> that time worrying. I was doing something about it. Uh, I don't think my worries are really well Founded. I think it's just something that happens this time of year when you look at the things that are remaining on your to-do list and looking at the time remaining before Christmas. But when I really think about it, it's very doable and there are some things on that list that are optional. And um, I've done it before, I'll do it again. Uh, if it's not a necessity, it doesn't get done. Oh well. <laughs> it didn't help that uh, yesterday when uh, my daughter-in-law came over I cleared a spot uh, next to me on the couch here and I picked up a few things and shoved them into my project bag. <laughs> so the first thing I pull out this morning is my list of projects that I was considering. Uh, I was looking at uh, four things of knitting. So I have finished Stephanie's shawl. I still have to make Cameron's slippers. I want to make a pair of slippers for myself. And then I have Advent shawl written down, which now, as you know, I've decided to weave a scarf after Christmas. So I've only got one thing done on that list. Sewing. My tree skirt's the only thing done on that list. I'd also like to do a couple of table runners and some placemats and a project bag for my daughter. We'll see. Weaving, I've finished Jessica's scarf. I'm still working on my scarf for my sister and I have taken a scarf for my sister-in-law off the list. I did that a while ago. So. Yeah, um, realistically, the only thing that really needs to get done off of this list is Cameron's slippers and finish the scarf for my sister. So, again, lofty goals, uh, but I have to be realistic about it. Not sure if I've showed off this mug this year. It's a David's Tea color changing one, so this deer and some of the snowflakes uh, they just gonna turn it around here it's full of hot hot tea yeah some of the snowflakes in that deer disappear when it's cold and appear when it's hot i bought some delicious english breakfast tea at granville island uh, the other day and that's all i want to drink <laughs> it's so good uh, there's a possibility that we're going back into Vancouver next weekend and if we do I want to go back to the market and get some more the first sip of tea of the day is one of the best um, I did a little bit of knitting yesterday I finished the heel on this Christmas sock that I've picked up for the gusset and I'm going to sit here this morning and I'm not getting up <laughs> until I do the heel on this uh, this one figure I'm up early I've got some time that sort of you know stolen moments and then also I'm not planning to work out this morning because um, getting my treadmill later today and I know I'm going to want to try it out so why not 
kill two birds with one stone and get my walk in and give it a try at the same time. So that takes a little pressure off too, gives me back some time <laughs> during today. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here, see what I can find on YouTube. There's probably at least one or two new Vlogmas episodes up. And I'm gonna knit on this sock and drink my tea and try not to panic. <laughs> putting Stephanie's shawl in to soak while I go have a shower. I have my blocking mats laid out on my kitchen floor and as you can see I'm about halfway finished blocking Stephanie's shawl. It is proving to be quite challenging because I have to pin out all those little points and I want to make sure it's nice and even. So I'm going to take a little bit of a break and open my advent. Once again the day is flying by way too quickly. It is coming up on noon and I don't have nearly as much accomplished as I'd hoped to or expected to by this time. Stephanie Shawl is taking much longer to block than I anticipated but I think it'll be worth the effort when it's all done. It is starting to look really gorgeous as I see it being stretched out. Um, my, I have very big hair today. <laughs> I think it's from having my hair drying as I was bending over the blocking mats and it's all kind of pushed to the front. Oh well. Um, let's open today's advent, day 14. Today's colorway is Night Spell. <coughs> Excuse me. I was trying not to tear the labels. I'm not really sure why. There we go. Okay. Let's see. Oops. It's still stuck. There we go. Ooh, I caught a flash of blue. <gasps> Oh, 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 look at that color. <gasps> that is amazing. Oh, I love it. That is so pretty. Wow. Gorgeous. Okay. I guess that's my break. <laughs> Back to the blocking, I'd really like to finish it up, hopefully within the next half hour. I hope it doesn't take that long. And there, after way too long, we have it. I goofed and had it off center, and that was part of my problem. It is still not perfect, but it will do, um, especially after it comes off the blocking board. So here a little bit closer you can see that lace and the beads on the points I just used those to pin out the points I was being very meticulous and measuring and in the end I just adjusted everything so hopefully it's okay um, so for those who are interested and maybe haven't blocked shawls before maybe this is not the best tutorial um, and maybe this is not the best example since I did struggle so much. But in general, what I do is I soak the shawl uh, for pro probably about 15 or 20 minutes in some wool wash and lukewarm water. Then I lay it out on a towel. I squeeze as much water gently as I can out of it back into the uh, bucket or sink. And then I roll, kind of lay it out flat-ish in a towel, roll it up, and just squeeze as much water as I can out of it. And then what I will do is lay out my blocking mats. I'll find the center, and I will put the center of the shawl there, and then I'll measure the two edges and put them an equal distance away from each other. And then in this case, I used multiple pins to pin the top edge to try and make it as straight as possible. I actually think I need to go along there and just adjust it a little bit because I've been pulling so hard on the border. It's a little bit wobbly. 
And then in this case, I just started at the center and the two edges, kind of pinned them out and then tried my best to kind of pin uh, the points out into a gentle uh, slope, I guess, for lack of a better word, and have them approximately just a little bit higher than the other. So I kind of did in about increments of a quarter inch. So each point got pinned about a quarter of an inch further away from this bottom edge than the one before it. That's more or less what I did here. So yeah, it shouldn't take too long to dry because it is lace weight and it is um, up here in the kitchen where it's nice and warm and dry. So there, another thing off my list. Now it is time for lunch. One thing I should add is uh, because it took a long time to block, the yarn was drying out as I was going. And so I have a bottle with the lukewarm water in it and I would just spritz the whole shawl every so often uh, just to be able to uh, wet it again and have a little bit more give to the yarn. The last thing you want to do at this stage is snap um, a strand of yarn and create a hole for yourself. While I was waiting for my lunch to cook, I thought I would sit down and weave for a little while on my sister's scarf, and then I did a little bit more on it after I ate too. I guess you haven't seen this project since the day I started it, and honestly, it probably doesn't look a whole lot different than it did then, just because this is about all you ever see on it. But um, if you look here, you can definitely see that I have rolled some length onto the front beam here. Um, the shuttle is definitely less full than it was. Um, I'm guessing I'm at least halfway, but I don't really know how you can tell. <laughs> um, I am really loving weaving with these yarns. They, I think it's because they have a bit of a stickiness to them. They just seem to weave together really nicely. I'm also very happy with my edges. I think I've done a really good job. This is probably the best job I've done on my edges yet. This yarn is interesting because some areas, like with the red, it'll go the whole way across the warp, but then there's areas where it just goes like this. So if you're looking at it from a distance, you see these dark kind of zigzaggy streaks that go through. So I think it's kind of cool. Uh, having said that, I think this is one of those yarns that would have looked just amazing woven or uh, woven as both the uh, warp and the weft. And I think it would have created almost a little bit of a plaid effect, but I didn't have enough of the multicolored to do that with. So I think it looks fine and um, I think it'll be nice and warm and soft and probably fairly drapey because of the alpaca when it comes off the loom. So while the light's still fairly decent, I'm gonna do a little bit more weaving and then I'm thinking that while Cameron is at work, it would be a good time to start on his slippers. Look at this amazing view as it's getting later in the afternoon and the sun is shining on the mountains. It's just gorgeous. My treadmill just arrived. Look at this big box in my entranceway. I thought that I might be able to unpack and set it up before Cameron got home, but judging from the way it took two guys to carry it in here, I'm thinking it's a two-person job. So I guess I'm just going to have to wait. I decided to keep on weaving and I'm really glad I did because it turns out I am much further along on this project than I thought I was. Do you see this wood here? That's the back beam. 
And that means that in just a few more rotations, I'm going to be at the end of my warp, <laughs> which I would say is better than being at the end of my rope. <laughs> Uh, I think I am going to wrap things up for today because I know our evening is going to be very busy setting up the treadmill. So that just leaves us with something good. And while definitely uh, getting my treadmill today is the best thing that's happened, I really like this segment to feature something holiday related. So with that in mind, my something good for today are these little ladies right here. So a number of years ago, we were on a family holiday uh, in a place called Kimberly, which is a Bavarian slash Alpine styled town uh, near the Rocky Mountains. And we had gone in, we were walking around the town, and all of a sudden the skies just opened up and bucketed down. So we ducked into this gift shop and it was quite large. We just wandered around, looked at all the various things, and I came across these two figurines. Uh, one says Noel, one says Joy. And I always thought there must have been a third one. And I looked and looked and looked on the internet and I never could find a matching figurine. So I've had to make do with two of them. But I just love them, I think they're so sweet. Um, and I embroidered that picture also many years ago. I think they go nicely together. And then I just picked up those Christmas trees. This year, they actually have batteries in them and they light up, but you wouldn't be able to tell with the lamp on overhead, so I won't bother turning them on. Yes, so this little arrangement is my something good for today. I hope you have had a good December 14th, and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 15. Good night.